Oh, hey, man. Ugh, hey. Here we are again. <clears throat> Let's see. What are, what are we looking at today, Mike? Playing, we're playing uh, Bengayo something Missile Assault, I think. Cool. What is it? What did it say? Let's uh, say. Eh, well, I think it's called Missile Assault. It's the new Xbox Live arcade release of Bengayo. I didn't really need to know the name to pick up this game. If you like Bangayo games, you'll probably just pick it up. So, what is this? Okay, alright. What is this? The object of this game right. is how crazy it is. Did you die? Nope. Oh, I guess I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Right. I sworn I did. Oh, I'm, my bad. I thought I had full charges. I only have two charges, so I will charge for a less amount of time. What you do is, the, the more things that are chasing you, the more missiles you'll unleash when you get in those situations. And the closer you are to objects, the more things you'll shoot. So, like, you want a lot of stuff around you, and then you go, bam, and then you release a bunch of missiles. What? What do I not know about this version of the game? Maybe I'm just doing a bad job? That's that's pretty possible. Okay, you did yeah, that, I but nailed see, it that time. You ran, you're running see, out see of all health. The, all the missiles I shot? Oh, yeah, okay. Those are all from the fact that there was a ton of missiles. So the object is to get rid of uh, all these turrets and stuff. And, and the whole, all the while, there's a ton of shit chasing you. And then, like, yeah, there's a ton of stuff. Bam, bam, let go. Max counter. See, so, yeah, I must have just been uh, timing it wrong or something. Dude, that was a super bang I O. Thanks, man. That was the best fucking bang I O. I think we'll see all day. And it was done by a complete moron. So the weird thing is, it, it almost has a puzzle aspect to it because you have to, uh, you have to be able to get like, oh shit. You have to be able to get in and out. You got to be able to take out the turrets. A lot of your weapons are, are seeking, so like they're gonna go after th other things than like exactly what you're shooting at. The closer you are to things, the stronger they are. Like you see how my missiles are getting bigger as I get closer. Oh, weird. There's there's weird little like almost puzzly aspects to it. And so the, yeah, you have the different things. You have the regular attacks. Uh, obviously, those crazy super attacks where the more missiles there are around you, the stronger uh, like. It unleashes a bunch of stuff. You have a dash where you become invincible. And then you have your regular weapons. You can switch between two weapons right now. It looks like I have whatever this is. Relations. Looks like it's just a bunch of things, so it's probably good for defense. Because they shoot fast and it's a bunch. And then I have these missiles. Which are better when you're close. Well, everything's technically better when you're close. So down in the right corner, you can also see it's a, a little map, but it shows you what's left. And really, the object is just take out what's left. Is it? All, are you always in a square like this? Um, sometimes they're they're bigger. Okay. They're like larger, like kind of like a kind of like a Castlevania map type shape. Okay, now we got a boss, of, boss of some sort. Well, let's wait. We can get some of these. And you'll see that, like, uh, I don't know if you can tell by watching, but I'm keeping it held longer. The longer you hold it, the more will attack. You can delay it and add another round by using up. Uh, like max meter you have up in the top. Uh, it's super. This is super Japanese type game. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, as you can tell. And then treasure games are always quirky and insane. So like, like that's the first level. What you just watch is the first level of this game. <clears throat> so let's see if maybe this adds a little bit more to the floor. Let's see, like this is different rooms. Oh, let's keep. Yeah. Okay, let's see, in this one, I'm fighting enemies and the walls. And. Is the wall? Is this a metaphor for something? Yeah, the walls are like tyranny. Ooh. You know, right now, uh, obviously, I can't shoot through the missiles, so I'm gonna try and lure a bunch of them. Yeah, and, and then unleash. you're gonna go bangayo on them. Bangayo! Wow, that was a great bangayo, Mike. Thanks, man. But like, you can see the appeal of something like this. Like, there's just it's crazy, and you feel powerful, but also there's a level of strategy because you saw in the, at the beginning when I wasn't paying attention, it's very easy to get yourself killed if you just kind of fuck around. Right. Oh, nice Bangayo. So Bangayo, that's the name of your special attack. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember the story behind why. I assume it's the type of mech you're in. It's called a Bangai or a Bangayo. Now, why do the Japanese like mechs so much? I mean, robots are cool, and they seem... Pretty like uh, techno fetishists over there. Like they love their technology. Hmm. Yeah, cool thing about this game, really quick. Uh, it does have co-op. So imagine yeah. what co-op would be like in a game like this. You're gonna die, dude. Yeah, I fucked up. Uh, when you're when you're letting all those missiles hit you, if you don't time it right, uh, sometimes they'll start. They'll actually start hitting you. So 
I, I, I think that's how I was dying in the beginning. I was letting too many of them hit me. Oh, see, now I have no... I have to kill some guys, because I've, I've been using up all my bar. Dude, you need more Bangayo. Oh, dude. I think I'm dead. There's no way I'm going to kill any of these guys. You can do it. Well, Don't to, give I up. I kill some guys to charge up my meter. Don't give up, Mike. All right. I think I was too liberally using my missiles. That's one of the things about this game is it's hard not to just use those crazy missile attacks all the time. Because, like, they're fun and they're easy, but you can well, you can just run out of them really quick. Now, which one's your missile meter? Uh, up in the top, see where it says 4 or 10? 5 or 10? Oh, okay. That's how many Bengayos yeah. you have? And then I haven't been using my dash very well. Because that dash will see that guy, how he turned red and started floating around. That'll stun a guy. I haven't been using any of that stuff. So, are you trying to make our audience become noobs at Bangayo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what What do you have to gain out of everyone being a noob? And I was doubling up those missile things a lot. Oh, well, you know what? If I teach them how to play poorly, then when I when I play, I'm like, oh, you guys are playing wrong. This is how you play. Yeah, but they'll say, but we learned it from you. I'm like, yeah, prove it. And they'll say, look, look at the fast glance where you were teaching us how to Ooh, play wrong. Fuck that up. Dude, you're, you're seriously, you're raising a, a generation of Bangayo players that I don't want to be around. I hate that I'm doing this bad, but also, this is a hard game, so I don't feel that bad. Did you see me play Dynasty Warriors? I died in Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> I feel like now we're so concerned with doing well in games that that's why we do bad. Well, the thing is, it's almost... Because at first we didn't care. Strangely enough, it's kind of hard to talk and play a game while you're actually trying, not just talking, like, you can be bullshitting, like, yeah, 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 I love you, sweetie. You know, you can be on the phone to your girlfriend. But at the same time, when you're trying to explain what you're doing, it's almost like you're getting too far in your head. I don't know if I mentioned this is a twin stick, the control scheme they gave it, and when you dash, you're invincible. So, I, again, I'm not doing the stuff I should. I, I, I think maybe it is, I'll chalk it up a little bit, the fact that I'm talking, so I'm not paying a lot of attention. But, uh, I mean, look, I'm as far as I was before, and I barely used any of those things. You're not peanutting a lot of attention. <laughs> and see, like, like you can see how effective it is to get close to them and get your, your missiles up. Oof, you got a 33-point combo, Mike. Don't screw it up. You ruined it. You ruined it again. You're really going to bang out against these guys? Oh, I don't know, man. Carry it through, man. Carry them. They're, oh, yeah, against those dudes. These dudes are the worst. They're the, they're the worst ones. Get them. Yes. There we go. Bingo, yo! So, I, again, it's weird. It's hard to describe. It's almost like a weird arcade slash twin stick slash. It's almost got a level of puzzleness to it. Now, you want to give it a try? Sure, I'll bang yo. All right, right trigger is your uh, dash. Bang. It's okay. Left is that missile attack thing. You hold it, and you'll see, you'll see the thing circle around. The longer you hold it, uh, the more missiles you'll shoot. Now, if you Holy hit right shit, trigger, what is happening, dude? If you hit right trigger while you're charging, now hold it. You gotta hold it longer because you're invincible while you're holding. Oh my bad. What the fuck? So when there's a lot of objects on screen, that's when you want to use your left trigger because okay. that means you'll shoot more back out. Right. So like right there, when you're in a corner, tons of stuff. Now you should use it, but you're gonna want to hold it. Oh, I did. I thought. Fuck. Alright, I'll try one Because you're time. invincible while you're using it. I was holding it, but it still killed me. Because if you just tap it, it just shoots a couple missiles. So, like, right now. Bam. Oh, so you held it, too. You... Oh! And once the full thing goes, that's when you can start getting hit again. That's oh, how I was dying okay, in the that, beginning. Because that's what I was doing. You gotta hit ago. right trigger to keep it going in another circle, but that uses up another, another level. Another bang guy. Yeah. And then, yeah, you don't want to sit around afterwards, so you need to start moving, because there's probably missiles coming at you. Holy crap, dude! Yeah, this is this is the third level. This is pretty. Insane. What's cool is once you get go, well, you get used to it and you get that rhythm going. Like you, stuff like this is simple and it's just like it's fun. It's like the, those people that get really into Ikaruga and you're like, how do you do this? And it's just it takes that little bit of time to get used to it. Might want to just unleash a bunch of missiles just to kill something, and get some life. Exact counter. Bang oh, yeah, and there's yeah. ways to do that too. When something's just about to hit you, if you counter it, it shoots more missiles back and more powerfully. Are you ready? Bang guy! Ha! 
But it's, yeah, this is a, this isn't like it's got a, a a weird like bullet hell kind of uh, punishing you level of fun to it. But at the same time, it's not just one of those games here. I like to be punished, Mike. You're just like Rihanna. Yeah. I like weird sex. Right. You should a big one right now. Bang! Bam. Bam. Uh, all right. So. so I mean, there's really not much else to show, and we're not doing a great job <laughs> of showing you what's good about this game. So, but it's ten bucks. It's on Xbox Live Arcade right now. Th this game is released for an audience that already knows they want it. So that's kind of what you need to know about this game. Is odds are the people that want this game aren't going to need to watch my uh, watch our fast glance to know they want it. Damn! Did you see that missile attack I just unleashed? Hey, wait! It's me again, man. Come on, tell, the, tell the people I'm playing, dude. No way, dude. Wow, I'm the shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> this is that game. This is Bang Out Missile mm. Missile Assault or something Assault. It's good. It's a good game. Bang Out Missile Assault. Oh. oh.